Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a new loading screen because EA actually brought out some content today that we need to talk about. We finally got top transfer content in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. We had some new cards today and objectives and SBCs and of course a new season as well. And it was confirmed. My original suspicions were confirmed. Weekend League is going to continue the next couple of weeks. So we're going to talk about all that today and what we could see on Saturday for content. So just as I had mentioned before, I was a bit worried yesterday when I saw that there was no weekend leagues loaded in here on the schedule just yet, but I guess EA was just making us wait an extra day longer because now there are two weekend leagues after this current weekend. So we still have two weeks left, which means I will probably end up playing one more of those two weekend leagues uh, with the Spurs squad to finish off the year on a weekend league with the Spurs team. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I just need to get some rivals points by doing some objective challenges, which I am honestly a bit not motivated, but I think I'm going to do them because we did get some new objectives today. But again, I wanted to remind you guys of that and show you that, hey, Foot Champions still got two weeks left after this week. So weekend league is not over just yet. And I think that makes sense based off the promo and my original thoughts on that. But again, yesterday I was a bit unsure because they hadn't updated the schedule yet. And it still said that this weekend was originally the last one, but it is not confirmed. So let's talk about some of the objectives and the new season. I'm going to talk about the season first because this is pretty interesting, right? So season nine, 41 days and 13 hours. I think this season is basically going to end right at the start of FIFA 21. So like EA is running all their content right up until the end of FIFA 21 or FIFA 20. Because uh, 41 days will take us basically right to the beginning of October. That first week of October, right at the end of September, is when this pro uh, when this season will end. And if you're somebody who likes to grind to level 30, there are some very interesting cards in here. Uh, Lone Rude Hullet, Lone Pele, Low Drogba at the beginning. Uh, a couple of celebrations that are kind of interesting. Uh, some decent packs that are in here as well. 93 Douglas Costa. Uh, with a five-star skills and a four-star weak foot's pretty dope. A 92 Eric Bailly and a 94 Darlington Nagby. This is a card I'm probably going to go after for the USA squad if I get to level 15, which is probably a bit unlikely, but it is what it is. You get some more packs alongside with the season as well. Of course, there are a lot of items and packs right now still with Team of the Seasons, Team of the Years. Uh, Moments are 10, or, or Air 9, excuse me. Moments Air 9 is available in here. Uh, and the interesting is, Interesting thing is when that's a beautiful TIFO, by the way, the Ronaldo TIFO, when you get to level 30, if you guys grind to level 30, you can get the opportunity of getting a 96 weak foot upgraded Ziyech card, right? Four star weak foot, five star skills, Chelsea Ziyech, 96 rated. It actually has different statistics than his team in the season, which is kind of interesting to me, but that's a really cool card. I just hate that you have to grind to level 30 to get that. That's a lot of grinding that you have to do. Get your 100,000 XP. A 95 bail as well. Striker position change with the five star, or excuse me, with the four star weak vote as well. Uh, upgraded plus one. And then the other thing you can get is a prime or moments icon player pack at level 30. Untradeable. Another item at the end here at level 30. Uh, of course, I think you go with either the ZH or the bail, get the guaranteed card. But if you're getting level 30 in August, in September, you're crazy. That's all I'm going to say about that. But again, level 15 rewards, I think are feasible for a lot of people that might grind the objectives. There's a decent amount of packs in here. You get a couple, you know, moments, icons. The Douglas Costa looks pretty cool. The Nagby looks cool if you're a USA fan. So I'm a fan of these, right? Decent cards, pretty big boosts. If you get to level 15, you do. If you get to level 30, you do. GG's to you on that. So that was like the first piece of objective content today with like the top transfer with the ZH and stuff. That was pretty cool, right? I saw that today and said, hey, that's a W. Uh, we should get dynamic images for those cards pretty soon. They should get loaded in and we should see those. Again, we had some information about FIFA 21 objectives. Uh, this is just the daily objective, but we had, this is the biggest objective of the day. 96 rated Leroy Sané position, not position, club change to Bayern Munich. Of course, still left mid, still German. A lot of people were thinking that this might be a bit too asking a bit too much from EA for a 96 rated left mid from Bayern Munich. I don't think this is asking too much. An 80 plus midfielder pack you get in FIFA 21 as well. And the hardest grind is getting the six wins, uh, the six wins in rivals using German players, which this is honestly not that hard. Six wins, 10 goals, 
and then assist with a Premier League player and then play a couple squad battle matches with four-star skill move players. This is very, very easy to do. I think a lot of guys are going to end up doing this. I'm tempted to do this while trying to get my weekend league points so I can play the weekend league with the Spurs squad. And this is a pretty good looking card as well with the 96 Leroy Sané uh, card. I, I, I'm a huge fan of this card design, honestly. I'm waiting for the dynamic image on this item, which it might be kind of interesting because I don't know how they're going to use a dynamic image if Leroy Sané hasn't actually suited up yet. I don't know if he's played any like... Um, you know, preseason games or training games, or if they have any, even, even like a pro shot or like a, you know, the, the design, like a professional photo shoot image, like they use for the De Bruyne player of the year SBC. We'll see if they put a dynamic image in that card. They should. Um, but you know what? I'm a fan of this for top transfer content. I like that card design. Again, the premier, the premium squad building challenge. Is it a bit lazy? I mean, yeah, you could have made a new card design for the top transfer cards, but at this point of the year, does EA really want to put that kind of work in? Uh, I don't think they do. Again, four-star, four-star for Sané with the weak foot and the skill move. So that's a nice card. And then another uh, foot 21 reward here. You do get some 50K packs. You get four 50,000 coin packs for completing this objective right here, which is with the team of the season players, uh, which they gave you more loans of today. And you get a gold pack in foot 21. So that's kind of decent. The Drogba Tifo that interests you, the Hullet Tifo, um, and then of course some of the usual objectives in here as well if you're grinding for level 30. So that's all the objective content, which Sané I think is one that people are going to go after. I'm honestly probably going to try to go after it a little bit just because it looks dope. This is the other big SPC we got today, or this is the big SPC that we got. Ferran Torres. Now tell me if I'm saying that name correctly because I think I am, but Manchester City Spanish right mid transfer card. This SBC is coming in on Footbin at a cost of 75,000 coins for I believe it's an 80, 83 or 84 rated squad. I think 83 rated squad for this item with one Prem card and 50 chemistry. Uh, that's a W, man. You're, you're getting a 70,000 coin, 94 rated card at the very least. Again, I don't know about a dynamic image. It might be kind of harder to find um, until these, go these clubs kind of start playing more games or if EA can find some images that they will put in for these items. But this is a pretty good looking card in terms of meta, four star, four star. Um, you know, his agility and balance isn't the highest for a 94 rated card. He's, he's got 95 dribbling, but he's got 83 balance. So that's a bit of an L, honestly. But it's a fun card, especially if you're a City fan. Some interesting links with this card right there. Kind of a young transfer, top transfer content right there. I'm a fan, right? I'm a fan of them releasing SPCs like this one. And this is honestly more content and more hype than kind of what I was imagining for today. Because again, I talked about in yesterday's video, they added all of the new players into FIFA 20 right here, which they added a bunch more uh, just today. They added a bunch more transfer cards with some silvers uh, on the market. You can tell all these ratted on the 29th of August. They added a bunch of cards on the 27th as well. You can see a couple even added on the 28th. Darlington, Nagby, Douglas Costa, Eric Bailly, the, the Sané, uh, the Bale. Those guys were added on the 28th. But uh, they're adding the new transfer versions of cards into games, which is kind of dope. Uh, so that's there. And uh, I was honestly expecting there, there might have been a point today where like that was all our content. But fortunately, it wasn't. GG's to EA on that one uh, for, you know, going maybe not above and beyond with the content today, but solid right so if you're somebody who wants to take part in seeing some of these transfers getting them in your club that is a gg from ea sports honestly right there now let's talk a bit about today on saturday what could we see today uh i don't think we have any upgrade packs expiring let me take a quick check on that but um i feel like we're maybe doing another upgrade i thought we were going to get some sort of other upgrade pack today uh the 92 plus team of the season guaranteed pack is expiring at 6 p.m. UK today. So I would not be surprised if we got another other 92 TOTS plus or a 90 plus team of the season, some sort of other like guaranteed rating SBC today. Again, a lot of you guys, I'm speaking to Maddie Shoe Gamer here. Maddie Shoe Gamer every day like tweets out and asks, yo, EA Sports, when are we going to get that 89 rated five rare players pack SBC? I do not know if that's going to come. I guess it could come today. Who knows? Uh, we'll maybe cross our fingers and hope for, for that one to happen. But uh, other than that, not a lot of market movements happening. I guess some stuff is probably inflated a little bit uh, for Weekend League and for that kind of stuff. Oh, 
There was one last thing that I wanted to show you guys, and this is it right here. EA tweeted out today the rewards that are coming out over the final two weeks of preseason promo. Uh, and I would do these, man. I think right now you have the 80 plus attacker pack is available somewhere in objectives, maybe? Or maybe, I'm, oh no, the gold pack is available right now. Yeah, you get the 80 plus midfielder pack from doing the uh, Sane, and you also get the gold pack from doing the team of the season tryouts. So, Honestly, what I would do, I would try to get all three of these packs because the position, the 80 plus with the position, these could be pretty interesting in FIFA 21 to start off. You have the chance, again, of getting yourself something decent uh, out of either of these three packs. So I would say if it's not too much of a grind, try to go for these, man, because those packs could get you something sick at the start of FIFA 20, even if it's like an SBC fodder card that is you know, somewhat usable in game or helps you do an SBC earlier on for very, very cheap, like an 83 or an 84 that is pure fodder, but helps you do like maybe that first Premier League player of the month SBC that requires an 82 rated squad or 83 rated squad. If it's like a very low rated player, like the past two years, we've had Lucas Mora and Timu Puki have been the first two player of the months and they were very cheap, but also pretty meta and pretty usable. An 83 or an 84 rated card out of one of those packs could go a long way in a low rated SBC. So that could help you out a lot at the early game stage. So I would recommend getting and grinding those if uh, you have the time to and if you have the will to right now in this game. I know it's August, basically September, and a time is coming where, uh, you know, it's just not a lot is happening on FIFA. So if you're still grinding the weekend league, thumbs up to you. If you're still grinding the packs, I've got 700,000 coins left in my club to try to pack something sick still from these upgrade packs grind through some upgrades and pack something dope and 99 rated tots or team of the year please ea sports so i'm going to try to grind this out next couple of days of course before we start getting into fifa 21 stuff on the channel hope you guys have a good saturday if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new it's been nate the food accountant catch you guys later peace out